Hi, this is Hilal. In this video on Mathematical Economic Series, we will try to solve a problem on consumer surplus. The question is like this. If demand for consumer is given by the function, we have the demand function for the consumer as P is equal to 27 minus 3x minus x square, where x is the quantity demanded, P is the price. The consumer surplus at x is equal to 3 units is we have to find the consumer surplus at uh, x is equal to 3. The options are 50.5, 49.5, 31.5 or 32.5. Okay. So basically what is consumer surplus? It is simply the price that the consumer is willing to pay and what he actually pays the difference between those two very prices gives us the consumer surplus okay so what is our demand function we have inverse demand function that is p is equal to 27 minus 3x minus x square okay and what is consumer surplus graphically if we have let us say we have since we have a non-linear demand function let us say we have this type of demand function okay this is our demand function okay Consumer surplus is simply, let us say, this is our equilibrium price, okay, and this is the equilibrium quantity, okay. Consumer surplus is simply the area which lies above the equilibrium price and below the demand curve. This very area is the consumer uh, consumer surplus okay so the area which lies above the equilibrium price and below the demand curve gives us the consumer surplus okay so how do you how do we find this very area if we were having a linear demand function then we could have used the graphical method also but since we have a non-linear demand function we cannot use graphical method it will be very complex then okay so let us rub this out so how do we find this is our inverse demand function what is the total expenditure incurred by the consumer since p is equal to this and also the value of x is 3 just plug let us say x is 3 okay now what will be the equilibrium price equilibrium price will be simply if we insert this x is equal to 3 here in this equation so we have 27 minus 3 into in place of x we have 3 minus 3 square okay so this comes out to be 27 minus 9 minus 9 which comes out to be uh, 18 i guess uh, 27 minus 18 is uh, 9 so equilibrium price is 9 and i can show it graphically now let us say we have uh, quantity on the horizontal axis and price on vertical axis we have a non-linear demand function its intercept is 27 let us say this is our non-linear demand function okay now what is our equilibrium price equilibrium price is 9 so let us say this is our equilibrium price which is 9 what is the equilibrium quantity which is given us is here it is 3 okay and what is consumer surplus consumer surplus is this very area this very area which lies above the equilibrium price and below the equilibrium uh, below the demand curve okay so how do we calculate this very area it is simply we use the integral here okay so consumer surplus is given by let us say the formula is simply we integrate our demand function from zero to equilibrium quantity which is 3 okay and we write 27 minus 3x minus x square we take integral of this demand function with respect to x and from this we subtract the total expenditure okay what is total expenditure that is price times quantity which is 3 so i will write here price times x okay so just solving this very uh, definite integral will give us the consumer surplus okay i will try to solve this very integral so i have shown you in the rules of integration how do we integrate so i will not go into the detail here so the derivative so sorry the integral of 27 will be with respect to x it will be 27 x so i will write it like this we have 27 x minus 
थ्री द इंटरगल ऑफ एक्स इज सिंपली एक्स स्क्र प्लस टू इन इंटरगल वट वी डू वी जस्ट एड द एक्सपोनेंट बाय वन एंड डिवाइड बाय द रिजल्टिंग एक्सपोनेंट सिंस हियर एक्सपोनेंट इज वन वी एड अनदर वन ओके एंड वी डिवाइड इट बाय द रिजल्टिंग एक्सपोनेंट सो दिस इज वन प्लस वन इज टू ओके हियर वी हैव एक्स स्क्र आई हैव फॉर गट टू राइट इट हियर Similarly, the integral of x square will be simply x two plus one is three, and we divide it by the very three, okay? And we evaluate it from zero to three minus what is p into x? Price is nine, so I will write here nine into x is three, okay? Now let's try to solve this very integral. We just uh, Uh, first, we need to solve this integral for three. After that, we subtract this integral and uh, solve it for zero. Okay, so we have. Let me write it like this. Uh, we have twenty-seven in place of x. We have three. I will write three minus three in place of x. We have three. So we have x square. It becomes three. Three is nine. So I will write here nine upon two. Minus we have uh, x is three, so three into three into three is twenty-seven upon three. Okay, and we subtract it by the lower limit. And similarly, we just write twenty-seven minus zero. Sorry, twenty-seven into zero is zero. Three into zero uh, square is zero. So if we evaluate it uh, at lower limit, it all will become zero. So I will write it here zero. And to this we subtract the total expenditure. That is nine into three is twenty-seven. Okay. If we want to calculate these very things, twenty-seven into three is three seven zero twenty-one three two zero six seven eight. So we get eighty-one minus nine three zero twenty-seven upon two. We have twenty-seven upon two minus we have twenty-seven upon three twenty-seven upon three. Minus zero. We have to do nothing with this. Minus the total expenditure, which is which is twenty seven. Okay, so we have eighty one minus twenty seven upon two is simply two one zero two two one zero two. So we are left with seven two three zero six one. It will become ten. So we have two five zero ten minus three one zero three nine zero minus twenty. Seven. Now we have eighty-one. Now minus nine minus twenty-seven comes out to be minus thirty-six. We have minus thirteen point five also. Okay. Now what is this very thing? We have eighty-one. Eighty-one minus thirty-six is one. Eleven minus six is five. Seven minus three is four. Five six is seven. So. It is four, so we have forty-five. Eighty-one minus thirty-six is forty-five minus thirteen point five. So if we subtract this, we have forty-five point zero, and we have thirteen point five. It comes out to be ten minus five is five. We have four minus three is one. Three minus a uh, four minus one is three. So we got thirty-one point five. Okay, so this will be. Correct option. That means the area of this very. I will not say triangle here because it is a non-linear demand function. So the area of this bounded curve comes out to be thirty-one point five, which is our consumer's surplus. Okay. So how do we calculate it? It is simply we just take the integral from zero to three. Okay. First we calculate the area of this. Whole thing, okay. If I if I just try to make it more clear to you, what did we did actually? We just calculated the area of this very figure. Let us say how many sides are there? One, two, three, four. Let us. It is not actually a quadrilateral. First, we have the area of this very thing. It is like this. We have. First, we calculated this whole area. Okay, we calculate the area of this very thing minus we subtracted the area of this very thing. Okay, and from that we got the area of this very triangle. Okay, 
this is this integral uh, this thing this thing actually denotes this very thing this thing denotes this very rectangle or this very rectangle and the resulting answer which we got and um, what was there that was 31.5 if we subtract uh, this very let us say it is a quadrilateral from this very five sided figure we will get this very uh, figure of three sides i will not say three sides two sides and one co bounded figure i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you if you feel that i am giving my 100 percent to make you understand then please share and subscribe this channel with you people this is the only motivation that makes me uh that actually motivates to make more stuff for you people okay thank you